Hi dolls, welcome to my channel. My name is LaToya and for today's video, I'll be creating this fall inspired makeup look. I wanted to do like a cut crease spotlight type deal and this is what I came up with. For the palette that I used to create this look is by the Juvia's Place. It is the Nomad palette. This is what it looked like on the inside. If you dolls want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. To start off the video, I already did my brows. I applied my base. The base that I use is the P. Louise Rumor Number no. 2 base. So the first color I'm going to go in is this one right here. These colors are not named, so I'm just going to kind of point them out so you can kind of see which one I'm working with. So this one is like a yellowy matte. And I'm going to take my Luxie 205, which is a tapered blending brush. And I'm just pretty much going to roughly apply that. Oop, my lid is creasing just a bit. I'm just going to apply that right here in my crease. Now that I have this yellow applied, I am going to go in with this Kind of remind me of like a pumpkin spicy type color right here, which is like an orangey, not quite a burnt orange, but like I said, like a pumpkin spice type orange. And I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Soft Dome brush, and I'm going to apply that slightly, kind of like on top of that yellow, slightly underneath it, but also keeping it in my crease. Because I do want that yellow to pop out a bit, but I do just want to deepen this up with the orange. I'm going to go back with my Luxie 205 brush with no extra product. I just want to make sure that these colors are blended well together. And now with my favorite blending brush, I am going to take this color here. This color is more of like a nude beige type color. It do have like a slight shimmer to it. However, I feel like it's more of a matte. Because there's a lot of matte colors that do have like a little shimmer to it. But once you apply it, you really do not see the shimmer. And that's what I feel like is going to go here. Now I'm just going to go back with my blender brushes, applying a little bit of extra color, not too much of what I used before, just to have those colors to pop out, because I am going to apply another color on top of this, but I just want to make sure that they don't get muted during the process, okay? So the next color I'm going to apply is this color here this little olive green. So I'm pretty much gonna take my Sigma E25 and just apply this on the outer corner of my lid. My crease, inner corner as well. I'm not gonna focus it too much on the center of my lid because I am going to be doing like a little halo effect. So it's really no point of, of me applying product to that area. And now at this point, I'm just going to go back and forth with my blending brushes to kind of make sure everything is blended well together. And now I'm going to pack on this color just one more time just to make sure that it stands out a bit. And now at this point, I'm going to deepen up my outer corner with this color here. It is more of like a chocolate brown. It looks like it has more of a cool tone, but this color here. And to do so, I'm going to be using my Sigma E45, which is a small tapered blending brush. Now at this point, everything is blended to my liking. And so now I'm just gonna take a paper towel 
and some of my um, Bioderm, which is like a cleansing water. And I'm just gonna pretty much clean up on the outer corner. And then I'm also gonna take my Q-tip, my little bitty Q-tip right here. And I'm just gonna um, clean up in my halo area so that when I apply my base and my eyeshadows, those colors will pop out. All right, so now that I have that etched out and cleaned up, I am going to take my, this is my Luxie 246, which is a precision crease brush. And I'm going to go back in, actually no, I'm not gonna use my P. Louise um, rumor number two base. What I'm going to use this time is my P. Louise, which is, baby, you'll always be my partner in prime. <laughs> and let me just show you guys what that look like like it's kind of like a duochrome effect I'm actually going to use this color as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to apply on top of it I am going to go in with this center color right here this middle color and I'm going to take my Luxie. This is a 245 small shader brush. And I'm pretty much going to take that um, foiled eyeshadow. I had a brain fart right then. So I'm pretty much going to take this foiled eyeshadow and just apply it right on top of that base that I applied. All right, so now I have my spotlight going on. Okay, I'm feeling it. You know what, no lie, like, even though this is like a fall glam that I'm trying to do, it do kind of give me very holiday vibes. So I guess you can kind of like pull it off both ways, right? <laughs> that was really kind of like unexpected. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a wing liner. I'm just taking my flat definer brush. You can use any type of like small precision brush just to apply some of this base on my lower lid. Taking my beauty sponge just to kind of pat that in, get all in those creases and lines and everything. And I'm pretty much kind of gonna do like the same thing that I did on my top lid, but on my lower, the only thing that I'm not gonna do is apply this color here. So I'm just going to kind of smoke it out with the yellow, orange, and then this green here. And I might deepen up in my line with this brown. Start off, I'm going to use my Luxie 231, which is a small tapered blending brush. I'm going to start off with that yellow. I'm going to kind of stipple it on. Now with the same brush, I'm not going to switch this brush out. I'm going to go in with that pumpkin spice orange color. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30. And now I'm just going to take this angle brush. This is the Luxie 215. And I'm going to go in with that dark brown. And just apply it right here on the outer corner. So now at this point that my lower lid is done, I'm just going to clean this up real quick using the same technique that I used before on my outer corner, top lid and everything. At this point, I'm pretty much just going to apply my foundation and I will be right back with my lashes. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Marc Jacob mascara. Got to see what it looks like. I'm just going to apply this black mascara on my top lashes. Now I'm just going to get another pencil brush and I need to add a, like a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner. In this palette, there's really not like an inner corner highlight that I would want to use. So I'm going to take my Mary Luminizer by the Balm. What a oldie. Oldie but a goodie. And I'm just going to apply that right on my inner corner. 
All right, so for my lower lash line, I kind of wanted to do something different. So let's see if this is gonna work out. So with a Q-tip, I'm gonna clean up my waterline. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix this eyeshadow here in the middle, this yellow, this bright yellow right here in the middle. And pretty much my idea is to mix that with like a mixing medium. You can either use like a Makeup Forever Aqua Seal and I also have like this Inglot. And I want to mix it, mix the eyeshadow with this and make it like a liner. And I want to apply that to my lower lash line and also use it as a mascara, kind of make it a mascara for my lower lashes. Let's see how that looks. I use my Sigma eyeliner brush. This is the E11. And what I did is I put a little bit of this elixir in here, this mixing medium, I'm using Inglot. I just put it on the inside of this little tin can. This is actually like the lid of my, I don't know, what is this called? It's my Ver Veramona brush cleaner. So I'm just using the lid of that. Yeah, I got like a good amount in here. I'm just gonna mix it until I don't see any more powder. I want it to be completely liquid. You guys see that? looks like liquid gold it is i just wiped off like any excess eyeshadow from my liner brush because i don't want it to be like gooped onto the brush i want to have some precision and then i'm just going to go back into the color kind of swirl it around a little bit and now i'm just going to apply this to my waterline so hopefully this will work On the second hand, what I did is I went ahead and applied black mascara on my lower lashes just to thick it, thicken them up so that when I do apply this like little mixture that I have going on here, you can actually see it a little bit better instead of it being on my natural lashes. Now that I have my lashes on, the lashes that I put on is from Huda Beauty. These are Samantha number no. 7 and... Now I'm just taking my little silicone spoolie and I'm just kind of swirling it in this mixture that I have. And now that it's on the tips, I'm just gonna apply it to my lower lashes. All right guys, so I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, I'm trying to look in the viewfinder to see if you can really see it, if I can see it. You can see like the yellow on my lower lash line, but you, my waterline, but you really can't see it on my lower lashes. Hopefully I can put up a picture so you can see, but this look is too cute. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going to use MAC Culture Lip Pencil to line my lips. And on top of my lip liner, I'm going to go in with my Boxum White Russian Lip Gloss. Alright dolls, so this is a look that I came up with. I am very pleased with it. What do you think? For the Julius Place Nomad Palette, let me show you guys. I was able to kind of play around with all the shadows except for two. The two that I did not get to um play with is this utility green right here on the bottom and this foil olive green right here but as for the other ones i was able to kind of like dip my brush into it play with it on my eyes and see how they work i would say that these three here on the end they did work very well they just very standard like eyeshadows i don't feel like there was anything special about them but they do work very well let's see i would say the one that i had the most issue with was this green over here on the end as i noticed that as i was packing it on and blending it out that this little pumpkin spice orange right here was kind of pe peeking through the green and i would pack it on and even though i would pack it on and then kind of blend it and pack it on this color still kind of um peaked out so I would say that's the only issue that I had with it. This one didn't really work very well. 
Um, I did try different ways of using it, like using it as just like an eyeshadow or use it as a pigment because sometimes when it comes to like certain pigments, it's better if you pack it on and then blend out like around the edges. So kind of like lay down the color that you want where you want it and then blend out the edges around it and not necessarily the center part of the eyeshadow and it still didn't work. So, um... That, this color right here do need a little bit more work as as it comes to the formula. Now, as for the dark, this dark brown here, this is a very pretty dark brown. I used it on my lower lash line on the outer corner, and it worked very well. And as for the four shadow, it's a typical four shadow. Four shadows are usually easy to work with because it has like an oil base to it. So, it kind of like, there you go pops and shines so it's really not too much effort that it goes i'm sure it's a lot of effort in making a for eyeshadow but when it comes to like you really can't mess it up basically you can't mess it up sorry you can't <laughs> but as of overall i would say the palette is very very nice um if you don't want to spend like the full amount on this palette don't worry juvia's place always has some type of discount going on like um for labor day they have 40 percent off the site so if you don't want to spend the full amount on it just wait give it time julia's place will have it on sale all right dolls don't go away i have a giveaway that's going on right now at this moment okay so go ahead and click on the eye i think it's on this side i think it's on this side but click on the eye there's a video that is I believe it's a smoky eye with a pop of color. Click on that video. is a giveaway in it. It will tell you everything that's in the giveaway and also how you can enter to win. Okay? So go ahead and do that so that you can enter, enter to win the giveaway and possibly win some beauty product. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, you're made for more. Bye.